What you want? Let me talk to ya for me. What you want? Let me talk to ya for me. What you want? Let me talk to ya for me. Man, you know. Hello guys, um, hello ladies, hello everybody, Michi Monroe here, and I wanted to do a quick video. I was in the process of actually blowing out my hair, and I realized that I've never really shown you guys how my hair looks stretched, I don't think. Um, so yeah, this is my hair. I used um, a quick, blow I actually I'll show you guys. Went to Walgreens randomly on my way home from work trying to figure out how I wanted to do my hair this weekend and I'm thinking twist out, pin up, and I, I kind of always do that so I wanted to do something different so I decided to blow my hair out and I knew that I needed a new um, heat protectant because I never would put heat on my hair without it so I found something in Walgreens it is by Soft Sheen Carson okay and this is Roots of nature remedies for natural hair it's mango oil and sweet almond oil smoothing serum for process free straightening for natural hair it helps promote strong hair and this bottle was like six or seven dollars it's kind of really liquidy it's a heat protectant so your hair is not extremely um, exposed to heat when you do a blow dry or a flat iron so yeah, I'm slightly blow dried. I didn't really want to get it super duper straight. I did want to stretch it. And I did it on a high, um, a medium high setting because I just kind of went through it really quickly. And this is what I use. It's a Con Air blow dryer. And the only reason why I have this blow dryer, okay, because it has uh, the comb on it and it's able to go through my hair easily, okay. And um, I have one piece that I didn't blow dry yet. It's completely air dried, just about. And as you can, guys can see, the difference of completely air dried hair and then my blown out hair is a little shinier. Um, so, yeah. My hair is long enough to do a ponytail with a blow dryer. It looks really rough now. What I plan to do with my hair, I'm actually going to run a, a flat iron through it very briefly just to straighten it a little bit more. And then I want to show you guys something else. Hold on. While I was in Walgreens, I, I wanted to look for some rollers because after I um, blow dry and flat iron my hair, I know it's going to be straight and I kind of don't like the boring straight look, but I do like the stretch look for this weekend. And I wanted to get something that's going to like kind of set my hair in soft curls without making it like super tight like rods or anything. So I picked up some pillow rollers, okay, if you guys can see. And I'll just show you all an example. A pillow roller is a soft roller with an um, piece of metal on the inside that when you bend it, it stays in that direction. Okay, so what you do is you wrap your hair around the pillow roller, wrap it around, and then you, you fold it over, and then that it pretty much stays there. And it's okay to sleep on it because obviously it's soft. Okay, and you just put your bonnet on. So this is what I plan to use. I plan to lightly flat iron my hair. Uh, put a few pillow rollers on and see how it looks in the morning. If it's a complete mess, uh, I'll have to deal with that. All right. So um, I will update really quickly. I'll come back and let you guys see how it looks when it's finished. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. Again, I'm not trying to get my hair super straight. I'm just trying to stretch it a little bit, add a little bit of shine, and then some sort of texture. So I'll be sure to update you guys to let you know how it looks. But... As you all can see, this is the comparison. The uh, air dried hair with nothing on it, and then the blow dry hair. And as you guys know, my hair comes about right here, but I'm not going to get it that straight, so you won't be able to see it really. Uh, but this is it. Big hair. This is what I asked for, so this is what I got. All right, peace. Alright guys, so I am back with my hair straightened. I used a Revlon flat iron, uh, passed through each section about twice. Um, I did not reapply 
the uh, heat protectant to every single section right after I blow dried it I put a little bit more in my hands and rubbed it throughout for uh, shine and extra protection but as you guys can see it got pretty straight and obviously I need a hair trim I haven't trimmed my ends in a really long time but this is pretty much my hair it actually I can feel it on my neck a little bit so yeah um I think that for this weekend I'm actually going to Notre Dame my little sister's having a fashion show and I'm helping her coordinate it uh, because I don't know if many of you guys know but I used to model in college so I've been helping her with some of like the different scenes the transitions backstage type stuff so that's where I'll be this weekend and I wanted a really funky hairstyle so I know that this is only going to grow um, the more moisture that hits it so I think that I'm going to do a little bit of those rollers tomorrow night kind of let it get big and just go with like a huge Tracy Ellis Ross type of large curl look um, even though my hair is not as long but it'll definitely kind of give it that effect that's the kind of look I'm going for so yeah I know that many of you guys were wondering will you ever straighten your hair how does it look so this is it it's not a detailed video I wasn't able to capture everything that I did in terms of like flat ironing and blow drying because I tried to do a quick I will do another video once I have a trim but uh, for now this will do very quick my hair seemed to straighten easily and um, I'm not sure if it's the heat protectant that I use it made things a little smoother or I'm not from what I can remember when I did transition for that short time um, when I used to straighten my hair it would always straighten easily so um, my roots are very my roots are very straight even like the front of my hair for the most part it's pretty straight and I can't wait to do like ponytails and stuff uh, but anyway thank you guys for watching I'm about to head to bed I have on my pajamas if you guys can see uh, I have to work tomorrow so this was just a really quick impromptu type of deal I was driving home I stopped by Walgreens and I found a heat protectant that I wanted and I'm just like I'm 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 going to straighten my hair today. So I'll show you all what I do with my hair, what type of styles, and make sure that you head over to MichiMonroe.com. I am definitely gonna have a blog post about um, my experience with straightening, the different um, tools that I used, and the different uh, styles that came out with it. <sighs> all right, guys, thank you all for watching. Really, really quick video. Um, but I didn't want to do this process without at least sharing a little bit of the information with you guys even though I couldn't be as thorough uh, as I would like to be but because it's a weekday and also of course uh, today was my dad's birthday so I couldn't do as much as I wanted to but real quick uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon see ya oh no wait back. I'm recording yo. Wait, hey yo what's up guys I finished blow drying my hair I'm here with my sister Kay with my dad Papa Monroe Papa Monroe and uh, this is going on YouTube, Dad. So happy nah. birthday, Dad! <laughs> happy birthday, Dad! Don't put me on YouTube, girlie. No, you definitely go on YouTube. Man, you know.